Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Jimmy Stewart's P-51 heads to the Smithsonian. Glider makes emergency river landing in northern Italy. Jet-powered bike takes made in flight. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Talon Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Jimmy Stewart's P-51 heads to the Smithsonian. The P-51C Mustang, previously owned by beloved actor and military aviator Jimmy Stewart, recently finished up an eventful weekend at the Indiana County Jimmy Stewart Airport and is making its way to the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum. After rising to fame, Jimmy Stewart enlisted in the U.S. Air Force and became captain of a B-24 Liberator bomber. He flew more than 20 combat missions and earned the rank of Brigadier General during his 27 years of service. Once World War II had ended, Stewart purchased a new P-51C Mustang and entered it in the Bendix Trophy race. The plane spent several years being passed between Jimmy Stewart, Jacqueline Cochran, and Joe DeBona, earning several more records along the way. In 1955, it was sold to Texas pilot James Cook to use for hail suppression flights. Mere months later, Cook experienced a main gear failure and was forced to jump ship, leaving Thunderbird in extremely rough shape. Warren Petch was on the hunt for Mustang parts in 1999 when he unknowingly came across some Thunderbird wreckage. He identified the components two years later and brought it to the Air Corps Aviation Restoration Team. Petch recently flew the P-51C to Stewart's hometown in Indiana, Pennsylvania, and proudly stood with it at the Jimmy Stewart Airport for a public showing on May 16th through 18th. After the break, Boeing Whistleblower's family settles with the company. The legendary BD-4C program is building an exciting future for those who want a rugged four-seat family flyer with a proven history. The Surewings program produces a complete kit and builder assist program that gives you everything you need to be flying a BD-4CS in record time. For conventional kit builders, BD Aviation has parts, partial kits, and full kits for the 190 mile per hour BD-4C that has logged thousands of hours. Visit Surewings.com and BDAviation.com for more details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Boeing Whistleblower's family settles with the company. The family of whistleblower John Barnett, the former Boeing quality control manager who took his own life after questioning by attorneys that went on for several days, has settled their lawsuit against the company. Details were not disclosed. Mr. Barnett was an employee of Boeing for more than 30 years, who raised concerns with journalists after he retired in 2017. He related instances of discarded metal shavings near wiring that could potentially have cut the wiring. In addition, he noted problems with numerous oxygen systems on as many as one quarter of Boeing 787 models. Poland intercepts Boeing aircraft tires headed to Belarus. Customs officials in Poland intercepted a shipment of five tons of aircraft tires intended for Boeing civilian aircraft in Azerbaijan in suspected violation of European Union sanctions. The seizure occurred during a routine inspection by personnel of the Lublin National Revenue Administration, or KAS, at the Kuroshikin border crossing. The Lublin Customs and Tax Office said the shipment was declared as tires for buses and trucks, but upon inspection they were found to be specialized aircraft tires. Horizon X7 eVTOL achieves transition flight milestone. Horizon Aircraft's Cabaret X7 large-scale prototype successfully completed a flight during which it transitioned from vertical takeoff to full-wing horizontal forward flight. The Cabaret X7 is a hybrid eVTOL aircraft that blends a conventional aircraft engine with battery-powered fans embedded in the wings. The main wing is swept forward, and there's a smaller set of horizontal canard-like stabilizers on the forward fuselage. There are twin boom stabilizers in the rear, and a monocoque cabin with room for six plus the pilot. Recently launched SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket flew 27 times. A flight by a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket booster B-1067 in April set a record for the first time ever that a booster had been launched, recovered via soft landing, and reused 27 times. 
Coincidentally, that mission deployed 27 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. SpaceX has developed a system that autonomously returns booster rockets back to Earth and to land either on the ground near the launch site or on an autonomous barge called a drone ship at sea off the coast of Florida or California. That's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Glider makes emergency river landing in northern Italy. A glider with two people on board made what was called a spectacular emergency landing in the Isac River in Bolzano in northeastern Italy on May 10, 2025. The two were uninjured and were able to exit the glider and make it safely to shore. The Bolzano Fire Department was alerted immediately and dispatched its water rescue unit to the site. Divers were also sent from volunteer fire departments, as well as the South Tyrolean Water Rescue Service for additional support. Two water rescuers were flown immediately to the scene by a Pelican 1 rescue helicopter. When it was clear the two occupants were safe and unhurt, the additional diving units departed. As a precaution, the two people in the glider were taken to a hospital for examination. The firefighters secured the glider so it wouldn't continue drifting in the river current. A mobile crane was then used to recover it from the water. Police officers were on the scene to coordinate traffic around the site and to maintain security. The Greece Volunteer Fire Department was on standby throughout the recovery to maintain operational readiness for the rest of the city. After these messages, jet-powered bike takes maiden flight. Looking for a new generation of proven and efficient aviation power plants that boast modern engineering, electronic ignition, and both direct and gear drive systems? With 100 horsepower to 240 horsepower, the Skyline and Redline engines offer uncommon value in an overpriced industry. Whether you are looking for fixed wing or rotor, MW Fly Americas has been established to service the American market with dedication and expertise. MWFlyAmericas.com Welcome back. Jet-powered bike takes maiden flight. A Polish aviation startup recently unveiled a Star Wars-inspired flying bike by announcing its first successful flight. The design was created by renowned Polish innovator Tomasz Patton. He's best known for co-founding Jetson, which launched another wildly ahead-of-its-time aircraft in 2021, the Jetson 1. This is a wingless, personal electric vertical takeoff and landing device with eight motors. Since the release of the Jetson 1, it seems Patton has been hard at work with another out-of-the-box invention. With no warning, he debuted a superbike for the skies, under the company name Volanot. The official launch video, posted on May the 4th, of course, showed a man in a scout trooper costume flying the jet-powered airbike. It's made primarily of carbon fiber materials, making it nearly seven times lighter than the average motorcycle. The airbike is a one-person vehicle, capable of reaching speeds of up to 124 miles per hour. It shares its unique look with the Star Wars speeder bike, with no frame or structure surrounding the cockpit and sculpted stands for takeoff and landing. The VTOL also has a flight computer-enhanced proprietary stabilization system for automatic hovers and easy control. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.